Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to try some new products for um, refreshing day two hair. So yesterday I washed my hair and I just wanted to talk about what I use. So I use the Trepidora Curl Therapy Hiccupus. Sorry, my I'm rubbish at just speech in general. Um, cleansing co-wash. Um, I'm going to do a review on this range because there's a lot to say about it. So I wash my hair with this. And then I deep conditioned with the Shea Moisture Superfruit Complex 10 in 1 Multi Benefit Hair Mask. So I comb that through my hair. I know there's kind of mixed opinions about combing hair, but mine just doesn't really work if I don't comb it. So I comb it through, I leave it for a good five minutes, and then I will flip my hair forward and add a bit of water to make sure the clumps are reformed, and then I kind of turn the shower to just a drizzle and scrunch it out so squish to condition I think is the terminology and just make sure I've got nice clumps in my hair. I've then been using the Trepidora Papaya Slip Taming Potion Um, I've been really playing around with how I put products in recently and this kind of like I think what have people been calling it I can't remember but um <laughs> that's got loads of water in it, it just popped all over me Um. When I've got the clumps, I'm putting a pump of this, one pump into my hand and then rubbing it and then going down one set of clumps, then another pump. So I'm using about three pumps of this and then one just at the back because my hair's not long enough to come forwards at the moment. And this is working really well. So I'm getting nice looser waves. I'm not getting big curls, but I find I only get that with gel and it, I can't, I haven't seemed to got the kind of ratio right to get that right i'm still experimenting but my hair is curling better and less frizzy when i'm doing this sort of down the like pulsing method i think it might be called i might be wrong pulsing down um and then just scrunching the excess water out just a little bit um and i'm not scrunching too much and i'm not getting the frizz which is good so those are what i've used and then before i went to bed last night I'd been out in the sun all day yesterday, so I thought, oh, I frazzled my hair, so I've got the Miracle Maca um, from Trepidora as well. Now, this stuff is really, really strong. My hair doesn't like a lot of product. Um, it just kind of sits on it, so I think I used half a pump and... No, probably a full pump, so half a pump in my fingertips and put it, massaged it into my scalp, and then I ran the rest through my hair just to moisturise it, and then I popped it up in these. So I got loads of these from Amazon, and I absolutely love them. So I sleep in them. So I turn my head upside down and I sleep in them. Um, I make hair bands out of them for work. I've so so headbands, hair bands, and I love them and I sleep in them. And yeah, so just got out of the shower and this is how I've woken up with my hair today. So you can see it's a lot more moisturized than it has been. The waves are looser. So I'm still not entirely sure what my hair is. I think it is 2B to 3A. There are some ringlets um, in there, but it is looking quite nice and moisturised after that Macca moisture. So, I got the curly box, as you all know, and um, I got the floor and curl range. So, oh, I should have said, I've been using the super fruit hair oil as a pre-poo um, treatment. So, do you ever see me on a Friday? I go teach Pilates with oil in my hair and just like whack it up in one of the buffs. Um, I just look a mess, but I don't really care. <laughs> I'm going to teach a, a fitness class, I don't really care. So I pop like one pump in overnight and then I'll put a little bit more in the morning and just leave it and it's so lovely. It's got a citrus um, smell to it. So it says on the back, rub the oil between your hands to warm it up. Apply onto damp hair to seal in moisture. Focus applications on your ends as they're the oldest part of your hair. Use as a hot oil treatment on wash day or to add shine or gloss. And there's a lot more instructions on the website. So this is a mix of um, hair oil with a fortify infusion of 12 African botanicals, including Manketi and Kalahari infused with citrus oil. So it's really nice and it, it washes out really easily. So if I use castor oil, I'm getting that out for like three washes. It just sits in my hair, whatever I, I use to get it out. 
um coconut oil can be the same if i use too much but this tends to just come out <laughs> come out really well so um i'm gonna kind of follow what they say to do on their website is to use the hair mist and then a tiny bit of the oils I'm, I'm a tiny bit worried um because as i said my hair doesn't like a lot of product um but i am loving how bouncy it is so little disclaimer i know i said i wasn't getting my hair cut for a year but i trimmed it myself the day so all i did was just trim off the ends and it seems so much better since i've done it because i was getting wispy ends i have got proper hairdressing scissors and i am a qualified hairdresser actually um but i just got the ends and if there's any bits that look dry i just snipped them off so some bits had about an inch most bits had not even quarter of an inch off it was just a tiny bit but it is feeling and looking a lot bouncy and healthier i am getting my hair cut in six weeks so that would have been six months um i've asked in a few groups and people said it's it's just worth keeping on top of it i really really want to grow it but it's grown a lot since that cut in january but you know i wanted it here like now Right, the hair mist, so Jasmine Oasis Floral Hydration Hair Mist. Replenishing moisture and quench the first, let me start again. Replenish moisture and quench the first in dry and brittle hair with a botanically hydrating infusion of rose, aloe, honey and jasmine. So use as a daily moisturising spritz to replenish lost moisture, to refresh and retouch, apply lightly to revitalise, twist outs, braid outs and others in between styles um, other styles in between washing for a refreshing boost follow with our citrus oil which i've got um and they've got a butter which i don't have it didn't come in a set so there's a few people that have said don't use too much of this i've used it a few times i find it leaves my hair a little bit crunchy if i use too much so um because when i first used it i tried to use it like you would water um to spray it to refresh but it's a bit too much so I'm just going to use a little bit like so, I'm just going to run my hands to smooth my hair down like so, so where some of the curls have lost a bit of life, this is what I do, I say I use a lot, a little bit and then I use a lot. So, underneath never needs profession. I think the underneath of everyone's hair is always the best, isn't it? So, I'm just gonna scrunch a little bit. See, this is where it goes a little bit crunchy over here. Shake up my roots a little bit. Okay, so I'm not even going to use a pump of this. So. <laughs> Be so careful. There you go, three drops. And just lightly run it. Oh, it does smell so good. Really, really good. It adds a lot of shine to your hair as well. Be careful on the front. I've always got this really curly bit around the front. It's really frustrating because it's right next to a wavy bit that doesn't really wave. So that's it. I don't feel like I need to dry it or anything. Um it's lost a little bit of definition but that is just my hair that I'm trying to get right at the moment. So I think I might need to experiment with gels a little bit to keep that definition. <coughs> I'm just gonna flip it over, wake it up. One thing I can't go at is at how healthy it is looking. So, I think we're good to go. So, yes, this adds, I think it adds a bit of texture to your hair. So, 
it is a refresher spray but i feel that the stuff it's got in it in my hair for my hair type it adds a little bit of grit which isn't a bad thing because it i feel like i've been able to get my volume back um however i do feel like it can make these bits a bit frizzy i'd probably need to dampen these down first then use the spray to add a bit of moisture in this is lovely um again i only use a little bit because you can see the shine that's put in my hair um, if you have got like non-shiny hair, this would be great, but mine tends to be quite shiny, which means if I put a product in it, it just, it can look quite greasy, but it does kind of sit on my hair anyway, but it, <coughs> it smells great, it's nice, I'm going to keep using it, I do think I prefer to use this as a pre-poo treatment, because it's lovely, I'm trying to use something on my scalp every night now to help hair growth because I'm desperate for it to grow um <clears throat> my scalp helps better I seem to have a little bit of build up on my scalp at the moment um so I've got to be a bit careful I might need to clarify my hair a bit I'm trying to wash twice a week instead of once a week as well because I find I'm not refreshing my hair much I'm just leaving it up in a buff and um a hairband so I'm not re-putting the moisture back in so by the time I get to day five and six it's really really lacking moisture so um especially now summer's here i think it's best for me to wash twice a week also i've stopped diffuse drying my hair so i think that's why it's not as curly but i actually prefer it like this because it bounces up so much it feels too short but that is it that's my little refresh with these two i am going to do a i've just finished this and the conditioner i've got loads of this left quite a bit this goes a long way this is great so i'm going to do a full review on these and what i do and what i think about them what i like and dislike because i've got um these and the gel and something else the quench the primer curl primer so um yeah that's it that's my little update and um again any tips i'm not an expert i am experimenting i think you've got to <laughs> you've got to commit to this and play around with products because you're in these groups on Facebook and something works with somebody and then it's just wrong for you. So yeah, good luck. Let me know if you've tried these things. Let me know what you think and any tips. I'll greatly appreciate them and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.